Howdy folks, and yes, coffee and tools. We have the first one of these from Creality. Got to thank Creality for this, but also got to thank Jenny over at uh, Z Bannix. They shipped this over to me right away. It's uh, virtually the first one in the US of A, and we're gonna put it together and put it to the test. It looks like it's got some really interesting specifications, but Creality is a company that we all know because we love them for their 3D printers. So having the, this new uh, CR Laser Falcon is like, oh yeah, this is definitely something to check out. Let's get into it. So here's the plan. I'm going to open this box and we'll lay all the parts on the table. And as I look at the parts on the table, I will give you the specifications because Creality has put together a really nice package. So we're going to start by uh, the box cutter here and we'll get this box open so we can get all those goodies all the goodies out of here <laughs> so here's everything laid out uh, this thing has a 0.6 millimeter precision and 12 millimeter one pass cutting feature uh, it also is the first gravy engraving machine with a built-in level yeah and that's you know cool because you can keep the whole system it also has a single button operation on the control and that again makes it just so easy with a light so the light will indicate you know when the machine is in operation which is really good considering there are other ones out there whose names we will not <clears throat> mention but also got a nice uh, user manual simple uh, assembly for this guy and uh, very little to to put together and we will be up and running in no time also in the board it's a silent type board developed with an algorithm and it's got a 32 chip uh, bit excuse me it has a 32-bit chip in it and the drive steppers will of course run the X and Y precisely and synchronously it will be extremely quiet so this thing has been developed to, to be quiet and also run now there's something here that I heard about and I wasn't sure but actually though it is a 10 watt laser so yeah uh, Creality is out to definitely you know show us a powerful laser system we also have some wood samples that we can do some you know, basic uh, engraving on to see how the laser works. There was one other function here that was really curious. Uh, we have the magnetic uh, protection base here that will go on the laser to help protect your eyes, but Creality also stepped up the game. They gave us a set of goggles, which I highly recommend. Wear the goggles at all times when you're running a laser. Don't let other people around the laser. Lasers are not extremely safe, but they can be made safe by the user. The user has to be safe with the system. And here's the control package, really simplistic from Creality. But again, you know, it's a nice package. Like I said, it has the uh, TF card slot back here, your power slot. You have a main on and off switch, and then you have your power button that will indicate when the machine is engaged with power and ready to go. So Creality, like uh, everything they've ever done before, is doing exactly what I would expect from Creality. They're doing a brilliant job of putting something together. I had their uh, CR10 uh, printer, one of the very first CR10 printers that came out from Creality for the 3D printers, and I was so super happy with it. It was everything plus. So I'm expecting the same thing here where I'm gonna get you know blown away again by a very powerful laser with, of course, 10 watts. Wow. Exciting, you betcha. So we're right in the middle of a, I guess we just started the assembly here a little bit. Put the two rails in and I've started to uh, get my belts lined up on my gears here and I haven't really finished yet, but I wanted to show you guys that in the package is this little TF card with a USB adapter. So you just plug that into your computer, you'll find a really nice file in there, an MP4 file as a matter of fact video, and it'll explain exactly how to assemble this machine. And it's a really nice, clean, simple video, to, easy to follow. Uh, the other thing, <clears throat> there's also uh, G-code software, so there's a print already on here that's ready to go, so you can go ahead and with the samples of uh, basswood that they included with the machine, you can go ahead and print something right away. So it'll give you a good feel for how to use the uh, engraving machine and burn stuff in and even cut the wood. We'll get back to that as soon as we finish the assembly. <laughs> Okay, what I'm doing right now is running off of a file that uh, was supplied from Creality that came with the machine and it went ahead and started running the file immediately so there might be some flaw here because we sort of did this in the um, I guess you could say in the wrong order of business but 
Um, we'll see how it comes out. It, it's looking pretty good right now, but that 10 watt laser, yeah, that's a strong puppy. Yes, I do like it. Uh, I had to go find myself a USB 3.0 or like a, like a uh, Thunderbolt, uh, you know, 3 cable because I had to get a uh, light burn to talk to the machine. There could be a problem there down the road, but again, Creality is fabulous. They will get any problem straightened out in no time. So I, I have a lot of confidence with this outfit because they've really proven themselves to be, you know, very serious about what they're doing in the past. And this is not un unusual, uh, you know, brand new prototype machine like this. Uh, you know, we're going to have some bugs, I'm sure, but uh, I think they'll work them out so fast it's not even funny. And uh, we're doing an eagle right now, and it's looking great. Oh, yeah. yeah. Another thing I need to mention, if you've had 3D printers and you're thinking about a laser, a laser is so much faster as far as a project goes. You know, you're not looking at uh, spending 6 or 8 or 12 hours to create something. A laser will knock something out in a matter of minutes in some cases. And this is actually a pretty good sized project, and it is knocking it out very, very rapidly, as you can see right in front of the camera here. It is just... It's cutting out the uh, form of the eagle, and it's doing it really, really rapidly. Awesome. Yep. Uh, definitely like these things. They're, they're pretty cool. Hey, it's only, been, it's only been a few minutes later, and already we can see that we have uh, a complete print. Also, do this in a well-ventilated area if you're going to do this. And let's see what we have here. Wow. Look at that. Look at that eagle, and that is amazing. And we got all these uh, cutout pieces behind it. The <laughs> this. Oh man, I've got to go show this to some friends right away because they're not going to believe that. Wow. So, a couple of things here too with Creality. They try to keep it, you know, simple in some ways to to get things running. So they've got a power switch here which will turn the power for everything on and off. They also have this go button, which is uh, like a standby button for when you're ready to go. Now I'm hooked into my laptop and I'm feeding it through a USB uh, 3.0 cable or like a Thunderbolt uh, data cable. So with that happening, I'm not actually using this button, I'm actually using the laptop. And what happened was instead of asking for a preview, like I should have, I should have done that. <laughs> that was my mistake. I went ahead and just printed, so I was a little off the board a little bit, but it still came out great. It still came out, made a fabulous print. Now, the other thing I want to mention, I'm almost just push this out of the way for a second here, is this here is not does not come with the Creality. This is a you know just a third party supplier thing, and I really like it. So I'll tell you what, I'll give you a link for this in the description below where you can find or order these because they are really something you need for. I don't care who made the laser printer you need this piece anyways now back to Creality the size of the machine itself uh, plus the price makes it good value and I understand from what I'm being told with putting these in the US of A starting uh, today I believe they're gonna have them available uh, they're gonna have a fabulous price you know an intro uh, uh, price on these so that's gonna be uh, this will be a really nice strong laser and you can see it cut the basswood, which I believe is about, uh, not sure how many millimeter that is. I'll have to look that up and get back to you, but it's supposed to cut up to 12 millimeter, uh, one pass cutting with a 0.6 millimeter precision, which that's, guys, that's a lot. You know, for an engraving machine that can also cut wood in this case, that is doing a lot. And that uh, Eagle came out absolutely awesome. Um, I had the power turned up 100%. I should not have done that. I probably should have cut the power back. It looks like I really made some nice marks on this, but this is what it's for. It's a workbench area for laser, so there's nothing really wrong there per se. I wanted to show uh, real quick, this is the light burn software on the laptop. Laptop is hooked up through a uh, Thunderbolt 3 uh, cable over to the Creality machine. And I just wanted you to get a general idea of what the setup might look like. In this case, we haven't got anything on the screen on the light burn uh, job site thing right now for files, but the, just the idea of what it you know might look like. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you here, which is really cool, <clears throat> is this little guy right here. They have the... Uh, a gauge here which you set up and when you have the gauge like this you have three different types of uh, thicknesses of wood or cutting surfaces and this simply goes up underneath the laser 
uh, at the bottom so you can slide it in, check, make sure you've got your focus on your laser correct. And then it has a little hook on the back of it so it can hook to the front of the machine here so it has a place to be so you don't lose that thing. I think that's, you know, that's a cool feature. So the other thing, uh, let's really quickly talk about features. And this is 400 by 400 millimeter, this work surface area. And that seems to you know, coincide with the actual size of the laser. Now the overall size of the machine, of course, is bigger, but some people may want to know exactly what that is in inches. So that's about 17 and a quarter, yeah, by 17 and a a quarter. That's roughly the size of dimensional of this work plate, and this laser will work just within, you know, pretty much within this that that range. So, you're looking at about 400 by 400 millimeter uh, machine. So, just another quick look at the uh, eagle that we cut out early this morning. There it is. There, that's beautiful. That is absolutely awesome. I love it. And uh, again, it's creality. Yeah, I really expect some pretty good things. Another minor uh, feature, but uh, Creality includes this little dust-free uh, lint cloth that will help you to clean the lens of the laser itself when it, you know, if it gets a little dirty, get in there and just clean it up so you get good focus from the beam. Something I, I haven't seen any of the other, none of the other lasers have come with that. Wow. Okay, so how are we going to wrap this up? Well, one of the things too here is uh, this will work with uh, Mac or Windows or Linux. So it'll work with all three of the uh, OS systems that are out there. The thing is though, that is with Lightbird. That's the software and I highly recommend you just, if you're gonna do this, go ahead and get Lightburn in the computer and the laptop, whatever, so you can run a machine like this. That's just, uh, you know, it comes with the territory. So, you know, that is outside of Creality's uh, control for that matter, but it does work well from what I've seen, I'll tell you the truth, guys, this is the best machine I've seen work with Lightburn since I've had Lightburn, and I've had, what, a dozen machines in here in the last year or so, and this is the first one that didn't give me any problems or glitches. It didn't have any problem running Lightburn, and that was uh, just I, another, you know, I was kind of expecting that because I really love the company and uh, the gang over there at Creality. They have been putting out some nice stuff for a long time. So knowing that they had a laser was probably the only reason I even, because of the name, I said, yeah, definitely. Let's get their laser in here. I want to see this. And 10 watt is a lot more power, but I really like the 10 watt. The old uh, 5 watt lasers that we've had a lot of those around, this 10 watt uh, really does a much, in my opinion, it does a lot better job. It's, it's just a lot more offers a lot better you know power to deal with when you're you know etching or graving or if you're going to uh, cut some wood or something with it and material wise it'll it'll cut uh it will etch or engrave into uh leathers rubber plastic uh wood you know it'll engrave pretty much anything you put on it uh granted if you have something uh like white ceramic you're gonna have to paint that uh, black or something in order to get the engraving work to uh, mark into the uh, ceramic. That's again just a given. That's any anybody's machine is going to do that. So the overall uh, view right now is that Creality has come out with this machine and it is just as awesome as I, it's everything I expected from Creality. It really is and it's just that good. Wow. So how are we going to close this up? I don't know. We're going to have to close this out at some point but I'm still looking at this and it's, she's a pretty, she's a pretty face too. <laughs> So, so whoa, there you have it. That is the first review in the US of A uh, for the Creality Laser Falcon. Wow, cool. Now, any negative things? Yes, uh, the control package, which is that little box, has uh, no features on it beyond a power button and a little go and stop button. Uh, it really doesn't have any other features. If you have to work off of like a TF card and you put your file on there to print, you're gonna have, uh, you probably aren't gonna be able to do it. Uh, this one here is not working that way. It will not work that way. I tried flashing the uh, firmware to see if I could update it or something. And the way it stands, according to the instructions, you can turn the power on, it'll go to the home location, put the TF card in, and you can print off a G code. Didn't happen, did not work. And uh, that was kind of upsetting, but uh, I was like, well, you know, this is a new machine. They've probably got some bugs to work out yet. So using the light burn, no problem. But if they did want to do something like that, 
I sort of disagree with it because you only have one available file on the TF card because you have no uh, interface to work with. You can't say pull up a bunch of files and decide, oh, I'm going to work with this one. You still need that Lightburn or the uh, the other one that's a freebie. It's not that great, but it's uh, the GRLB. Uh, it's a it's a freebie download off the internet and it's very limited to what it can or cannot do and I tried it I, I don't use it it's, it was just remarkably it was kind of like yeah it's not that great it's an open source I think too it'll probably get better in time but right now it's it's very limited the light burn seems to be you know you have to put a little money out but it'd be the way to go so we're gonna provide a link in the description below of course through Zbanix that will get you a really good deal on this hopefully a really good price. Uh, I don't have the pricing thing yet because this was all put together so sudden and so fast. Uh, I only heard about this about a week and a half ago and when they said Creality, I said, oh, them? Oh, ship it. I, I, I want it. Yeah, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. And uh, they sent it over and of course we've done a review, checked it out, done some burn, done some cutting and stuff with it. And uh, it is just as much Creality as what I figured it would be except for that uh, there's really no uh, screen or LCD screen or something interface nothing like that going on now this is a fairly uh, I guess we'll say it's in the uh, consumer lower dollar range for its size so it's sort of like this is expected you know it's it's not bare bones it has a powerful 10 watt laser which I do <laughs> I like that so it's, a, it's overall pretty good pretty good machine and like always, hey, thanks for looking in, and please like, share, and subscribe, and let's get this closed out. Over and out. Mm.